With interesting people, there's a mystery to be solved. An adventure is unfolding, so why not get involved? Come on and read all about it. tremble with your singing. Such noise will alert the American soldiers. Have you no understanding of the situation? Should we make a run for it? Look, at his belt. It's the brass tomahawk. Do you suppose? Are you Chief Tecumseh? Tecumseh? No, Tecumseh is to the south. I am John Norton. General Brock told us about you. And Tecumseh. We've just come from Fort George. And how you're helping the British defend Canada against the Americans. General Brock is a brave leader. Proud, wise, without fear of death. Other leaders say go. General Brock says come, we will fight together. General Brock told us how you and Tecumseh helped him capture Fort Detroit. General Brock is my friend. If you are a teller of false tales... No, no, it's the truth. He gave us this letter. Bears of this letter are acting under my orders. It is my command that your prisoner be released into their custody so that he may be returned to Fort George. It is signed by General Brock. This prisoner, he is a friend of yours? Not really. We don't even know him. But he's from our home, and he's been mistaken for a deserter. General Brock says they've taken him to Queenston. Queenston? Come, I will lead you, quietly. Chris, wait. Let me put this back. Chris? That's my name, Christopher. And this is Sam. Your names, they have meanings? Indian names have meanings? I don't think so. I don't know. Why is your name John Norton? That isn't an Indian name. My mother was Scottish, and my father is Cherokee. My Indian name is Tehunan Hakwarihan. It means the snipe. What does Tecumseh mean? Tecumseh is a Shawnee name, meaning leaping panther. Boy, I'd like a name like that. <laughs> then I will give you an Indian name. If you are trying to help a friend, you shall be called Brave Cub. Brave Cub, that's great. Can Sam have a name too? She who sings so loudly shall be known throughout the forest as Screeching Owl. <laughs> Come, it is far. Come on, Screeching Owl. Coming, brave cub. <laughs>
doomed to be one of the forgotten wars of history. Yet what a war it was. It had everything, trickery, gallantry, uh, atrocities. Sutta, this word's completely new to me. What does it mean? Atrocities are wicked or dreadful deeds. Oh, so the war had everything. Trickery, gallantry, atrocities, Indians, redcoats, battleships, cavalry charges. Oh, soldiers on horses. Cowards, heroes, and bunglers. It was probably the crucial war in our history. For the first and only important time, Canada's two founding races stood together to drive an invader from their cell. Boy, it sounds really exciting, doesn't it? War of 1812 seems to be an important historical event. It sure does, and I've never heard of it. I am confused. Confused about what, Feta? My current maps do not show the location Upper and Lower Canada. Why is this? I'm not sure. Oh, wait, listen to this. Canada was anything but a country then. It's mere half million people in the Maritimes, Lower Canada, now Quebec, and Upper Canada, Ontario, were strung out in handfuls on the rim of the wilderness. That explains it, Seta. Your maps are current, up to date. They have Quebec and Ontario marked on them. Only the old maps would have the old names. Only if it's a sensible question, Otto. Well, these are history books in this pile. They'll give me the facts about the war. And over here are fictional stories set around the same time. They'll give me a background on what life and people were like then. And these are two special books about General Brock. <laughs> to be fair, this one's written by an American, and it gives their side of the story. The essential fact of the War of 1812, in which Isaac Brock played so heroic a part, is that in it the United States was not victorious and the issues were mixed. But I'm going to read this one first. Oh, my aching feet. I'll never walk again. Maybe we could just sit here until they invent the car. <laughs> is Queenston much farther? You are very close. A woman comes along the path. She is a friend and will help you. I must go. Farewell, brave cub and screeching owl. Goodbye, John Norton. Thank you. We won't ever forget all the things that you've shown us. That is good. We must always try to learn from one another. Hey, you forgot to tell us the name of the lady that's going to help us. Laura Secord. Did he say Laura Secord? But that's impossible. Laura Secord is the name of a company that makes candies and ice cream. Maybe it's just a coincidence. Come on, I'll go meet her while you're putting your shoe on. And bring T.W. T.W. to base? You'll never believe this. We're going to meet Laura Secord. Neither do I. Over and out. Oh, no! The letter! Sam, Sam! Thank you, Mrs. Secord. Really Sam, like Sam! It. The letter! The letter! We've lost it! Are you sure? Check for yourself. It must have fallen out. Is this the letter from General Brock that you've been talking about, Samantha? Yes. Oh, uh, Chris, this is Mrs. Laura Secord. Hello, Christopher. Samantha's been telling me about your journey from Fort George. It's very good of you to travel so far to help someone from your home. A lot of good it will do. Without General Brock's letter, the soldiers at Queenston won't believe us. I'm afraid you're right. 
What do we do now? Maybe you could find a way to help him escape. But how? I'm not sure. Perhaps I'll walk back to Queenston and try to find out where he's being held. Would you do that? Oh, thank you. And then tonight, Sam and I could try to free him. Exactly. It'll be very dangerous, though. The American forces are right across the river, and our soldiers are so worried about an invasion, they tend to shoot at anything that moves. We'll be careful. Good. Mrs. Secord, do you make candies and ice cream? No. Sometimes I bake cookies for my children. I'll bring you some if I have time. Thanks. I found it. Listen. Laura Secord became a legend in Canadian history on the morning of June 23rd, 1813, when she walked almost 32 kilometers to warn the Canadians of a surprise attack planned by American forces. Imagine, there's Sam and Chris back in 1812 talking to a famous person. But she doesn't know she's going to be famous because her walk won't happen for another year. I'll bet these history books will tell me if anything exciting happens while they're at Queenston. What did Sam and Chris say the date was? October 12, 1812. It'll be dark soon. Good news, I found him. He's locked in a cellar of a house just at the edge of Queenston. A guard was posted so I couldn't get to your friend. If you can wait until the guards are changing, you can probably slip in and help him escape. If we get separated, we'll come meet here at TW, okay? I'll show you the way, but then I must be off home. I have family to feed and, and chores to do. It's not my nature to be running around half the night. Let's be off now. Ready, brave cub? Ready, screeching owl. <laughs> <laughs> 